Hello and welcome back to me, Mitchell the Salmon, and this is my FC Union Berlin save. If you are checking it out, this is season four, so thank you very much for coming back and checking it out, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, please make sure you go and check it out. Uh, check out the earlier seasons and see how we've been getting on. Uh, and don't forget my Cardiff save come out on Saturday as well. So if you're not familiar with that, what I'm doing is taking financially stricken clubs and trying to turn the fortunes around. So yeah, let's get we let's get it on then. Uh, season four of FC Union Berlin. Last season, perfect start gifted to us, and we blew it. This season wasn't going to be such a quick and easy start in terms of the fixtures we were given. But could we actually make something of them even though they were more difficult? Because if you remember last season, it was a shambles to start with. So like, what, 11 games on the run or 9 games, something like that? Mad that we just lost on the bounce. So yeah, I'm hoping for better this year. So let's see what the tops and the turns were. So starting off, we have the fixtures. Uh, so we start with Leipzig at uh, home, FC Cologne away, Schalke at home, Bayern and Nuremberg away from home. Now, that is a relatively mixed start. I think we could probably pick up points against Cologne, Nuremberg and possibly pick up some points against Schalke. Bayern and Leipzig, I will rule out picking up any points. If we do, they are bonus points. But here we are. And yeah, so uh, should we see what our odds are? So the media had us at 15th again. 1,000 to 1. Never going to win the league. Which, honestly, if I was in playing it in, you know, if I was the manager in real life, I would probably be snapping your hand off for that every single season. Purely because. It's survival in the Bundesliga. It's a lot more money than what you'd get in the Bundesliga too. However, for this save and for my purposes, we are not trying to do that. We are trying to get ourselves top of the league. So, let's see what was in store for us. So, I'm going to move on just a little bit just to show you guys what rocked our season before it even started. Lemos injured two to three months. So I'm down my start centre-back, and following my centre-back, I was down my first-team goalkeeper. So, yeah, uh, not the best of things going into the first game of the season, which is obviously the first round of the Pokal. Now, the Pokal first round, I didn't show you the team that we got. I ain't even going to pronounce the name. I'll show you the result. But... Yeah, it's not really ideal. Regardless of who you get, it's not ideal to lose your first team goalkeeper and your star centre back in the first, like last week before the season starts. So, in the puck out, it was seventh heaven. So we did manage to beat them seven nil. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna. It's tri Trier Trier. Uh, it's not. It doesn't sound very German, does it? Sounds like I think it's probably more French, but yeah. So yeah, as you can see, the guy's absolutely dominated. Uh, so Noah Rockefeller got himself a uh, a nice few goals. Branimir Duranja, so another youngster, a Croatian youngster, is getting some game time. And Bujan Morale, our star striker, gets himself uh, on the score sheet as well. Can't complain at that. So yeah, I will show you guys a couple of transfers I had now. And starting up, we have James Horn. Jans Horn. Jans Horn. Pronounce it right if I can. Uh, if you remember, we did have him on loan and he did join permanently. So, pleased to get him in and he will be a very much good competition for Dalbert. So, yeah. The bonus is he can play at left wing back and he can do a job in the centre half and he can do a job out on the left wing. So next up we had McCarthy come in. Now I was really excited to get this lad in because if you look at him, he's 18 years old and he's just going to improve. Just look at some of those physicals. You know, he's going to improve. His mentals are decent. 
It's just his technicals now. So if I can work on that, uh, you know, he can play centre-back, centre-midfield and up front. We should finish him like that. I'm not going to play him up front, but he could. I could stick him on and do, do a job up top for me if I was ever short at strikers. So, yeah, I'm uh, excited to see how he comes along. Uh, I think with Lemos being injured, I will keep him around the first team for now. Uh, so he will come out of the under-19s and go into the first team. Uh, next up, I uh, brought in Mancia. Good old Brian. So he joined on a free from Racing Club after his contract expired. And originally I thought I'd bring him in and I would just sell him straight away. Again, I keep doing this. I keep signing people to sell straight away. And I, I sort of go, actually, do you know what? He could do a job. So, yeah, yeah I'm going to keep him around for now. See if he can do a job for us, and uh, hopefully he will step in when we require him. Next up, though, we have Ronald Arunjo. Uh, he is going to be original. He's going to start off as Lemos's replacement, and he will probably end up partnering Lemos in the centre of defence when he is fully fit and able. Uh, so yeah, I'm 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 happy to get him on board. Didn't cost too much either. I think it was like 2.5 or 3.5 million. So happy days and getting him. I'm sure we'll see that in a second. Uh, so Matt Macy came in as my backup goalkeeper. I bought him on uh, the day before of... Well, I didn't buy him, sorry. I got him in on loan the day before the Pocal. So he did make his debut in the Pocal. Um, he, I brought him in to do a job. He's not going to stick around, I don't think. Not... Don't get me wrong, he's got some good he's got good attitude attributes there, but he's weak in other areas like you know one on ones, rushing out. Well, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but no, no, no. But yeah, so he's not he's not really gonna be around, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy to get him in for now and he'll he's on the books, isn't he? So but I am gonna look for another goalkeeper, a better one if I can. So, here are all the full transfers for you guys. So, obviously, you've seen the inbounds and Ronald Azure oh, is 5 million. Sorry, so I've got that one completely and utterly wrong. Uh, so, outbounds, we had Joe Hart. We had Nicola Rapp. Chow Sung Jin went out on loan again. Vladimir Voice left. Uh, Lennart Skibitsky, one of the youngsters, left. But I have whacked in a 50% salon clause. And Max Kilman, bye-bye, permanently this time. Uh, I was getting fed up with the lad, but yeah. So, we drew Paderborn in the second round. And if you have been paying attention, and you have been watching the videos in the previous seasons, Hoffenheim are our bogey team. It was nice not to get Hoffenheim. However, I will have to go to Paderborn, who do have my ex-striker playing for them, Abdullahi. So, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that because I always have players that used to play for me go on and score against me. Uh, but, yeah, so here is the schedule for the coming season. Now, normally, this is where I would end this video. However, I've been thinking about it and I'm going to reduce the amount of episodes I do each week on this in preparation of going back to work, which, fingers crossed, might be Wednesday. So, I'm going to do a video for today, which is Monday, and your episode 2 will be out Wednesday. So, yeah, I'm going to do it in a sort of two-part. So, this is normally where I'd end it, but I'm going to carry on. I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible. So, uh, like I'm trying to keep to what I say. I'm trying to keep them quick, fast episodes. So, I'm going to stop waffling. So, let's move on to... A bit of breaking news. So we are going to jump ahead to October-ish. And the president was looking to step aside. It's like, dude, really? What are you doing? Like, honestly? What are you playing at? So, yeah. If you, if you know new president's coming in, new chairman's coming in, it's always going to give you a bit of uncertainty because the new guy might just not like me and go... Off you pop. You know, thanks for the time. See you later. But yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. However, let's take a look at some of the results. And 
And yeah, we didn't start the back the greatest, did we? So uh, it was a, a defeat to Leipzig, Cologne, Schalke, Bayern, Paderborn, which is a bit of a spoiler for you. Uh, but then we did finally get the win against Nür Nuremberg. So at least it wasn't nine games on the bounce this time, or eleven games, or whatever it was last time. So yeah, and you know we managed to get a few a few wins in there, a few good wins. So yeah, I'm pleased with that start. It's a lot better. Um, but yeah. So I told you I was looking for another goalkeeper, and I managed to get one in. I brought in David Spinner on loan from Napoli, and he was going to leave at the end of the season. Well, I, I think he was going to leave at the end of the season um, from Napoli. He did have well, just a year left on his contract. And what I thought, I thought, well, I'll keep him around for a couple of years because he's not gonna, he's gonna deteriorate, but he's not gonna deteriorate too much. So I have put a future transfer fee of a pound just to get him to agree to a contract for next season. So I am buying David Ospina from Napoli at the end of the season for a pound. Bargain, yeah, I'm gonna go pound land and get myself a goalkeeper. <laughs> so yeah uh, That's how the league looked after 11 games uh, I don't know why I snuck this in there But yeah uh, That's how it was looking after 11 games And that was the result for the puck out As you saw And that guy Suleiman Abdullahi Told you he'd score but, Yeah uh, that's another year out of the park out at the second round and my board were not happy and yeah yeah so should we see how my wonder kid was getting on Hakan now he's old enough happy days he's finally of age that he can actually play games for us and Look at that start. He played three games in the league. Starts three starts in the league. He's had six substitution appearances in the league. He's had one puck out. He's got four goals and three assists. The kid is going to be special. Absolutely special. I'm actually going to change my formation, I think, just to get him in the squad. Maybe. But he's young, so I don't know. I'm going to stick him in a mentoring group anyway with uh, Borgia and try and get him, uh, you know, trained up quickly. So, yeah. Right. Intake day was coming. Obviously, I remember, guys, we told you I was going to skip ahead. So, intake day was coming. And apparently I'm supposed to be really optimistic about this group of players. So I'm hoping for a lot more little Hakan. A lot more players like Hakan. So, it's weird saying Hakan because he's my boss at work. Uh, right, so yeah, I'm hoping I get a lot more like him. So yeah. Right, the result of the takeover being complete was I get to keep my job. They're happy with what I'm doing. They've left it. However, they've told me they're not going to invest any money. Which is a real annoyance. And that is where I am actually going to end the series, um, the episode for today. So, check out my episode on Wednesday and you'll find out how we've been getting on. Right, I am going to leave it there because I'm going to waffle on far too much. I'm up to 14 minutes now. And this was supposed to be a quick, snappy series. So, yeah. Guys, thank you very much. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you want me to do. Tell me what you want me to change, and I will try and make these neater, quicker, and tidier. So, like, guys, from my family to your family, I hope you're taking care. I hope you're all back at work now. Uh, and, yeah, I will see you on the silver side, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.